Israel faced 30 terror attacks this month. 16 attacks against Jews happened in the last week and 4 stabbing attacks in only 2 hours in different locations. Does this sound normal to anyone? Listen, when a 13 year old boy and his 16 year old brother go out to the streets of Jerusalem to stab Jews, we need to ask ourselves what is wrong here? Where else in the world the kid has the idea to stab human beings? And the funny part is that their father said that his kids don't even know how to hold a knife in order to stab. <laughs> really mister? And when a young Muslim woman pulls a butcher's knife out of her bag at the central bus station, is that because she wants to cook food or because she wants to stab Israeli soldiers? I mean, who in the world carries a butcher's knife for a bus ride? And how do media covers all this story? <laughs> this question is rhetorical, unfortunately. The attackers want to prove that Israel is bad by showing videos like this. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's okay to curse or beat, but I mean, you go stab a Jewish guy and then you expect all the Jews around to remain silent? What, what do you expect them to do? To help the stabber to get up? If it were to happen in your country, to your people, no one would stand next to the stabber and keep his mouth shut. Bibi said it before all the terror attacks at the UN, that he's willing to sit with Abu Mazen and talk about peace, and that's what we get in return? Now you understand why we don't have peace? Because some people from the other side don't even want peace. All they want is war and blood and they don't even hide it. Please share this video with your friends, family on Twitter or Facebook because it's a huge help for Israel. And I also invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. I hope this will be over soon. Remaining God, love you.